Hi everyone, my name is Anton Smith. I'm a staff support engineer here at GitLab and today I will be showing you how to install the GitLab for Azure Cloud app from the Atlassian Marketplace on a self-managed GitLab instance. So on the left side of my screen, you'll see um, Jira at the moment, and this is where I'll be completing all the steps to set up and install the GitLab for Jira Cloud app. And on the right side is the documentation, so you can follow along as I set this up. So uh, if you go to this page here, uh, you know, we, we're looking at the GitLab for Azure Cloud app administration page. So this is uh, generally for self-managed instances only. And we can see that there are multiple install methods here. As I previously mentioned, we are going to be using the GitLab for Azure Cloud app from the Atlassian Marketplace. So there are several things that we need to do to ensure that everything works as expected. And uh, yeah, we just basically have to follow this um, doc um, step by step. So the very first thing we need to do is set up the OAuth authentication. So this needs to be done when we're installing the GitLab Azure Cloud app from the Atlassian Marketplace. So um, let's just go through this together. So um, I've got a tab here, and this is my GitLab environment. So if we click on um, admin, we select applications and we select new application or add new application. Okay, so in redirect URI, if you're installing the app from the Atlassian Marketplace listing, enter this URL. So that's what we'll do. We will make sure that trusted and confidential have been cleared. Yes. Scopes, we want to check the API and we want to give this a name. So GitLab for Azure Cloud App. Save. Okay. Copy the application ID value. On the left side bar, select Settings General. Now, if we scroll down, we should see a GitLab for Jira app. Paste the application ID and select Save Changes. Cool. So we've just completed um, the OAuth authentication step. Now, if we move on to the Jira user requirements. So now, in order to set this all up, the user that we um, log into via Atlassian, uh, they need to either be a member of org admins or site admins. So uh, one way to check that is in Jira, you should be able to click on the cog for, this, for the settings and go to user management. Alternatively, you can navigate to admin.atlassian.com in the browser. And what we want to do is under directory, we want to look at the groups. Now, Depending on your workspace, you may see uh, org admins or a site admins. Um, in my case, I have site admins. And the user that I'm currently signed in as right at the top um, right screen, you can see that this user here um, is within the site admins group. So we've already satisfied this prerequisite right here. Now, um, if the group is missing, uh, just follow these instructions to create your preferred group. And um, yeah, depending on how complex your permissions are in Jira, you may need to check that uh, the user has this browse users and groups permission. All right. Now, if we move down here, install the GitLab or Jira Cloud app from that Lassie Marketplace. So uh, what we can do, um, there is some information on, on how um, the application passes data across. So have a read of that. But um, yeah, pretty much we just need to get to the prerequisites. So uh, let's go through these together. So the instance must be publicly available. So uh, this instance is publicly available to the internet, so um, there's no firewalls or anything in place blocking access, so we should be all good there. 
instance must be on GitLab version 15.7 or later. So if we go into the overview dashboard in the admin area, uh, no, it's not here. Uh, where is it? Normally, um, I just go to help. So you can see I'm on 17.5.1. You must set up our authentication. So we, we jumped a step earlier. So that's already done. Your GitLab instance must use HTTPS and or and your GitLab certificate must be publicly trusted or contain the full chain. So, um, yep, I am using HTTPS. It is a trusted cert. Um, it's been generated by Let's Encrypt, so we should be all good there. Your network configuration must allow outbound connections from your self-managed instance to share a cloud. So that definitely should be the case. So we should be all good there. Um, Inbound and outbound connections between yourself and your instance at GitLab.com. So as I said before, we should be all good there. There's nothing in the middle. Um, here's some notes about um, if you are behind a firewall, um, the setup is a bit more complicated. Now, the Jira user that installs and configures that must meet certain requirements. So that's just talking about being a member of site admins and org admins, and we've already done that. All right. Set up your instance. So um, we've been through these. To set up your self-managed instance, now we go to select admin, settings, general. So let's go back into here, admin, settings, general, expand GitLab for Jira app. Okay, in Jira Connect proxy URL, enter gitlab.com. Now this step is really important. Uh, if this step is missed, uh, things won't work uh, when you install the app. So yeah, make sure we don't forget this step. Okay, so that's now done. And if we move on to link your instance. So to link your self-managed instance, we need to install the app, configure the app, and do all that fun stuff. So here's the app. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Now it's installed. So we'll click to get started and let's just jump to this page. Okay. So we, we've basically done step one, step two. And we just click the get started link. And now we want to link a self-managed GitLab instance. So we need to click on the change GitLab version button here. Now we are using GitLab self-managed in this case. So we want to click this radio and go next. Now we have these checkboxes here um, that go through the various sections in the stock here. And the reason that we have these is because some users may discover the GitLab for Jira Cloud app on their own without referencing the documentation and they're unaware that you actually have to complete all these steps before the app will work. So that's that's why this is here. Now, because I've already gone through these steps, I'm just going to check them now. And only once all these are checked that this next button will enable. So we can just click that. Okay. Enter your GitLab instance URL. So let me just uh, grab this fella here. Yeah. Okay. So the next part will be the signing in. So we should see a pop-up box to sign in. Okay. So if you're not signed into GitLab, you should see a sign-in box and you can just um, sign in with your credentials. But then you will be shown the screen that we're seeing now. Uh, it's just requesting access to our GitLab instance. And you'll see why in a moment. So I'll just authorize it. Okay. So next thing we need to do is link groups. So when you link, when you create a group link in the GitLab Azure Cloud app, that's how... GitLab knows which projects 
um, to send updates to Jira about. So let's do that. And I've only got one group in GitLab, um, in my self-managed GitLab at the moment called Jira Deep Dive. So I'll just link that now. And group successfully linked. So what that now means is any um, projects that are in Jira Deep Dive with Jira IDs will now be syncing up to Jira. And it will also keep an eye out for any future changes containing Jira IDs. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you.